I really love string cheese. Hey guys, welcome back. I really missed you guys. It's been so crazy lately in my life. If you're new here, by the way, my name is Chris. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a quick review, but more of a tutorial for the Summer Bloom Palette by Peachy Queen. I said that I was going to do this a long time ago and I just never got around to doing it. So the other day someone DM'd me and said, hey Chris, nobody has done it yet still. So I was just like, you know what? Let me go ahead and do this video for anyone who's looking for a review on this palette. This palette costs $19.99 on her website. I do have a discount code. However, I do not earn anything from that code. It is solely for you guys to save some coin. When you use my code, it comes out to an even $17. This palette contains talc and mica. It is cruelty free. It has 36 grams worth of product and it has a year of a shelf life. The cover for the palette is the same thing as the palette itself. So if you don't like to keep these, then you actually don't have to worry about it information being lost because this is the exact same thing. When you open the palette, it looks like this. It has nine shadows. It does come with a very large mirror that can fold all the way back. The pans in this palette are very big, very similar to like a Juvia's Place palette. If you follow me on Instagram at Chrismo Beauty, I already posted some swatches of this. So I'm just going to go ahead and do some right now live for you guys. I'm going to do all of them since it's only a nine, you know palette situation. There you go. This is one, two, and three. Then we have purple, pink, and this one right here. Ooh, don't fall down. It's purple. Oh, took too much of that one. Pink. And this beautiful color. I actually didn't even get to use this color in the eye look today. I use eight out of nine of these shadows, so I completely forgot about that one, to be honest. I would have used it. And then the last three are the shimmers. These are really pretty shimmers. There they are. Put them right at the bottom. There we go. Here are all nine of the shadows very 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 beautiful the shimmers are absolutely gorgeous very reflective very pigmented the mattes are very pigmented too easy to blend i absolutely love this formula for this tutorial i used the kylie cosmetics concealer in shade maple and i used two brushes from morphe which is the m222 brush and the m326 brush i've used these many times on my channel so if you're following me and you want to try out these brushes they're very inexpensive it's a morphe brush kylie's concealers i believe run for twenty dollars but you can use any concealer that you actually prefer better an m222 brush i'm just going to take purple then I'm just going to stamp it along my crease. I am going towards the inner corner of my eye, but not going down to the inner corner of my eye. Just going towards it. This is really pigmented, so I do suggest taking a little bit at a time. And I'm going to drag it out and bring it down into a V. Next, I'm going to take the pink on the same brush. I'm going to put that right above the purple but also overlaying it just a little bit because I'm going to blend them together anyway. Sometimes during this process, you can lose a little bit of the purple, but I'm going to go back in. Sorry. I'm going to go back in and fix it after I blend them together. Again, I'm just doing a stamping method. Without anything on the brush, I'm just going to blend what I just did together. So there's no like weird harsh lines. I'm going to bring a little bit more pink bottom and I'm going to blend the top so we don't see that harsh harsh line and just like I said I'm going to go back in with the purple because I lost some while blending that together no big deal happens all the time so I'm going to take some concealer I highly suggest you do not set it whatsoever leave it tacky I'm going to use the M326 brush Take a little bit right on it. I'm not going to use this to apply it directly because I don't want this to get over to color on it. And then using that, I'm going to just cut my crease. Now I know cutting the crease can be a little difficult. The easy way to cut the crease is to just look up and then look right to left and it'll show you where you should go. I'm not going to do that right now because it's actually much higher than where I want it to go. So I'm just doing this by eye. If you guys want a tutorial on how to cut a crease, just let me know down below. 
And if a lot of you want it, then of course I will make that video. I am bringing this pretty far back. And then of course you do want to pat the concealer in. Otherwise, the eyeshadow might look a little crazy when you put it on. By patting, I mean just literally tapping your brush. With my finger, I'm going to go into this beautiful light green shimmer. It just shows up so much better with a tacky base and with a finger. These shadows are actually really pretty with a dry brush and with the wet brush is even prettier, but with a finger, I mean, it's the best. Look at that. It's so pretty. And I'm just putting this all over. I don't go too close to the line up there because I don't want to go over the purple. I'm just going to take a little with the N326 brush, not wet or anything like that, dry. And I'm going to fill in that space. I'm just going a little bit at a time because I don't want to mess up the line that I did. Using the same brush, I'm going to take the light purple shimmer. I'm going to put that in the inner corner of my eye. So it's just so, so pretty. I love that color. Then I'm going to take the white and put it on my brow bone. I'm getting as close as I can to my brow bone. I did go high up on this look. Then I just moved back and forth lightly. I do like a very icy look, but you don't have to put that much. You can put very little and it could be subtle. Back with the M222 brush, I'm just going to go in with this darker kind of wine color. And I'm going to put it right here in between so that that blends in nicely with the purple. I'm just lightly tapping this in. And then mixing the burgundy with the purple, I'm just going to blend it out a little bit. With the N326 brush, I'm taking again that kind of purplish wine color, burgundy color. And I'm going under my lower lash line on the outer corner part. I'm going to connect it with the top, just bring it up ever so lightly. And then dragging it towards the inner corner of my eye. I'm not going to put it in the inner corner of my eye because I'm going to do something else there. With the same brush, I'm going back in with the pink. I'm going to put that, oh, not there. Put this in the inner corner part. And drag it just a little bit on top of that wine. Then I'm gonna take this pretty pink shimmer and put it right on top of what I just did. I did use this shimmer, which is like a highlighter, for a highlight on my face. So I'm just gonna show you how that looks. It's buildable, you can do a subtle one or it looks super icy, like I normally like to look. Now I'm going to go ahead and throw on some Paint Splashes Lashes from Glam Light in purple and I'm going to put on some Makeup and Murder liner and I'll be right back. And that's a completed look you guys. On my list by the way I am wearing the Glam Light Coral I believe color. It's from their new paint collection. I do have a discount code with Glam Light. It is Crismo. It can save you some coins at checkout. I also got the purple one and I did get two other lashes so I'll be trying these out in future videos so you can see how they look. And I topped the lipstick, by the way, with the Fun Fetty Too Faced Lip Gloss. Alright guys, so I'm going to be moving very soon to a whole nother state, so I'm going to do as many videos as I possibly can in the next few days because I don't know how consistent I can be in the next few weeks because moving is insane. If you ever move, then I'm sure you completely understand me, so I'm just gonna do the best that I can, and I know you guys understand because you're just that awesome. So I will see you guys on the next one as always, and I'll catch you guys down in the comment section. Bye.